In this video we'll briefly discuss what is amoxicillin, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Amoxicillin is a penicillin antibacterial. It inhibits bacterial cell wall synthesis, in this case, the cell wall can't protect the bacterial cell from high internal osmotic pressure, leading to cytosis and death of the bacteria. It is available as 250 and 500 mg tablets or capsules. And 250 mg dispersible scored tablet for pediatric use. And also 125 mg per 5 ml, powder for oral suspension, to be reconstituted with filtered water. Amoxicillin is used for acute otitis media, streptococcal tonsillitis, sinusitis, bronchitis, and pneumonia. It is also used in case of infection due to Helicobacter pylori, in combination with omeprazole, and metronidazole, or tinidazole. And also used for leptospirosis, and no severe cutaneous anthrax. Also used for typhoid fever, if ciprofloxacin is contraindicated and if the strain is susceptible. Amoxicillin is also used as completion treatment, following parenteral therapy with penicillins or cephalosporins. The usual dosage for leptospirosis, tonsillitis, and infection due to Helicobacter pylori. For children, 50 mg per kilograms per day. In two divided doses. For adults, 2 grams per day. In two divided doses and in severe infections such as typhoid, or suspicion of resistant pneumococci, pneumonia, or otitis. For children, 80 to 100 mg per kg per day, in 3 divided doses. For adults, the dose is 3 g per day in 3 divided doses. Duration of treatment of otitis media is 5 days. For tonsillitis, 6 days. Leptospirosis, 7 days pneumonia, sinusitis, cutaneous anthrax, 7 to 10 days, helicobacter pylori infection, 10 to 14 days, and for typhoid fever, 14 days. Do not administer to penicillin allergic patients, or patients with mononucleosis. Administer with caution to patients allergic to cephalosporins, because cross sensitivity may occur. Amoxicillin may cause gastrointestinal disturbances, allergic reactions, that range from mild to life-threatening. So in case of allergic reactions, stop treatment immediately. Dosage should be reduced in patients with severe renal impairment. And it shouldn't be combined with methotrexate. There is no contraindication in pregnancy and breastfeeding. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos like this one.